Hey friends, consumer attorney Rob Nahum here. I, uh, I, I needed to do a quick video to talk about what's happening in Washington, D.C. in response to the Corona virus. Um, I've been railing for a long time now that um, Washington has not been doing enough and they've been uh, really failing to meet the moment with regard to the Corona economy and Corona debt and the impact that um, job loss and uh, the stop in the economy is gonna have on regular working people. I've been advocating for a long time that um, one of the best things that could be done to meet the moment is across the board student loan forgiveness. Um, I, I've, I've advocated it as the right thing to do because the fact that we have the levels of student loans that we have now is a, a result of um, mismanagement uh, at colleges and universities. It's, um, it's an irresponsible uh, societal move towards debt. It's, um, it's uh, basically the wrong thing to do to have saddled people just beginning their lives with exorbitant amounts of debt. I've called it a moral hazard. Um, which which I, I think it is. Um, I was encouraged earlier this week to hear that Democrats have finally gotten some religion on this issue and that um, they were including in uh, this new piece of legislation $3 trillion in spending, um, much of which is devoted to helping working families instead of corporations. Um, uh, I was encouraged to see that it included in that bill $10,000 across the board student loan forgiveness. Now, obviously, that's not enough for those of us advocating for complete student loan forgiveness, but $10,000 in student loan forgiveness was a really good start considering that the average student loan obligation is about $30,000. So this was, you know, one third relief for, for most student loan borrowers. Um, I was encouraged to see that as a step in the right direction and also as a, um, uh, reflecting the idea that Democrats have finally gotten their hands around the scope of the problem. Uh, and now I read that they've scaled that back, of course. The, the final bill that's going to be presented to the, um, to the House today for a vote seems to have really watered down that student loan forgiveness. Um, it's still $10,000 student loan forgiveness, but it's not across the board. It's student loan forgiveness uh, only for those student loan borrowers who are in default or who have um, zero dollar a month um, income driven repayments um, or who are in some form of forbearance. Um, now, believe me, th those, those are the student loan borrowers most in need of this kind of relief, but it's just so weak. It's just so weak. Um, it really doesn't meet the moment. Full student loan forgiveness across the board. And if you don't have it in you to give full student loan forgiveness across the board, then at least understand that those of us who make our student loan payments are, are doing so under tremendous pressure. Tremendous pressure. Um, jobless claims are skyrocketing. And uh, the idea that you're gonna water down what was a, a fairly progressive piece of legislation um, and, and you're gonna do it on the backs of um, struggling student loan borrowers is just so short-sighted. You're not meeting the moment. You are not recognizing where real relief for working families is gonna happen. I'm, I'm disappointed, I'm really disappointed. Um, there it is, love and light. Please take care of each other.